in this module we shall briefly look into islamic fintech islamic fintech sector is growing very fast in some countries faster than the others hence having just one session on islamic fintech may not be sufficient however given the limitations imposed by this course we would be spending just one module on islamic fintechs what is a fintech fintech is actually a company which exclusively use technology for its business and operation it's a tech oriented financial services company traditional banks of course they use technology as well but that technology is very rudimentary when we compare this with the fintech technology in case of fintech a lot of things which previously were done manually now they are being done with the help of technology due diligence for example whenever someone about 20 years back would like to open a bank account they would have to provide their identification shinakhti card dena hota tha or in case of united kingdom there was this driving license any other form of identification proof of address and of course proving that you are you now this due diligence is being done by the technology i can open an account with a digital bank without having to visit a branch actually digital banks do not have branches so i have got my mobile phone on my mobile phone i would take a selfie pehle selfie lena shuru shuru mein bada mayoob samjha jata tha i even now do not like selfies however that selfie is a requirement as part of due diligence if you want to open an account with a digital bank then you can scan your forms of identification with the help of your mobile camera send it to them and the technology would make sure in case of pakistan you put your thumb and you put your identity identity card national identity card whatever you call it and all your information will be accessed by the digital bank automatically in a matter of seconds and if you are eligible to get a bank account you will receive it very quickly so these are fintechs they are emerging very fast everywhere and anywhere in the world there are some other companies which are known as tech fins a pakistan mein amazon bhi aa gayi hai amazon to ek bahut bada dukandar hai na bahut bada store hai virtual store with a lot of physical facilities as well but amazon actually provides a lot of financial services as well and some people call it tech fin and amazon is not the only tech fin there are so many other companies like this one there are different names i am not a technology guy so i would not know all those names but sometimes they are called big techs or tech fin or whatever okay so technology is ubiquitous it's everywhere and it is in financial services as well islamic fintech firms are the ones which use the technology in a very significant way many technology many islamic fintechs they do not use technology exclusively exclusively in the sense not all their operations are tech oriented they still use some aspects of uh, manual operations as well but still we call them islamic fintechs because the markets they are operating in there are a lot of regulatory concerns regulatory limitations 
and as a result of that they may not be fully technology firms as compared to conventional fintechs examples of islamic fintech include athis crowd now athis crowd is a very impressive islamic fintech company which originated from indonesia slash singapore and now it has uh, gone to malaysia as well it has a number of uh, projects one is a global sadaka platform there is another crowding platform for investing into housing low cost housing projects in indonesia and so on so this is a company which is talked about in islamic banking and finance market in a very significant way and it was set up by a very young guy like yourself his name is umar munshi umar munshi's parents were not happy with him that he has dropped out from the university and he wants to do something which should be meaningful so he actually came up with this very impressive islamic fintech and a number of people and companies they are trying to emulate his success if you want to be an islamic fintech guy you must look into the business model of athis crowd yielders is another islamic fintech which is based in united kingdom and we would look into the details of their structure in a subsequent module just to give you a snapshot of some of the important islamic fintech firms wahid invest is a very impressive islamic fintech firm it offers robo advisory as well now i would not like to go into the details of robo advisory google it then we have uh, the likes of uh, yielders here as well iglu we have uh, offa all these are fintechs they are providing some kind of financial services uh, service in a sharia compliant way forest ventures islamic finance guru and so on i hope that one day i would hear that one of you has actually founded an islamic fintech